On this video, we're going to look at optimizing flow for the lark and for the third bird. And let me tell you, most people are in that third bird category. But this way of optimizing your flow will work for both of these two categories. So here we're looking at when to do those heavy meetings, when to ease up and do the creative work, when to do the analytical stuff, and also when to take breaks. So the complex work is something that you want to do within your rhythm, within your biorhythm, but also the creative stuff you want to do within your biorhythm. So for the, the lark and the third bird, then doing the creative stuff at the beginning of the day is a bit of a waste because here actually is the very best time to do the tough work, to do the analytical stuff, to do the heavy meetings, to do strategic planning. And one thing to remember is that the body is designed to sprint, relax, and then sprint again. And so adding into your day those breaks and understanding what a healthy break would look like. It's not something like checking your phone or checking your emails. It's more like doing some mindful breath work, going for a walk, doing some light exercise, perhaps even doing a little bit of yoga. So that would be the light exercise or eating, but nothing else, drinking, but nothing else. Some stretching would also be a really good break. So if you work from home, you might have a really intense flow block using that cognition, using that time in the day to do all of that analytical stuff, the complex stuff, maybe between 6.30 and 8.30, and then have maybe an hour where you're doing your exercise, your breathing, your journaling, and have what I call a holy hour where you are just concentrating on you. You might concentrate on gratitude, on forgiveness, on all of those things. And then you get into your next flow block after that. So your next flow block might be from 10 to 12.30, for example. So you're taking up now until lunchtime. But again, that is the tough work. That is the stuff that's going to really take the brain power and then once you have your lunch, that's when you're refueling. And that is part of your work is to refuel because remember, it's sprint, rest, sprint. And then you can go into the next part of your day. You still can do another flow block of one and a half to three hours where you're doing that tough work. And then once your battery's a little bit lower, you're going a little bit down in your energy levels because you've done all of that tough work that's when it's best to do the creative stuff because that is when you've kind of let go of the active mind the active thinking and you're allowing other things to come through so that is actually the very best time to do your creative work now both of those sessions those afternoon sessions can be more creative especially if you've done that really early morning session so you could do two of the heavy loads in the morning and then two creative in the afternoon, depending on how your flow goes in your day. Or you can do one in the morning, have that lunch break, one in the afternoon, and then do your creative flow block at the end. Have a hard stop at the end of the day. So say that's six o'clock or 5.30 or whenever it is, you know that that's when you stop. The day is done as far as work is concerned. Then you can go on to have your social time, your family time, eating, all of those things. So you're not missing out on that side. And then power down, put things in the diary for the following day, get things ready, get things in order. And then you're ready to crack on first thing in the morning with the next day. And you know, you don't have to think about it once you get started, you can just really dive deep into it. So just as a reminder, making sure that you make those breaks part of your work where there is low prefrontal cortex activity. 
So you don't want to have to be using here. You don't want to have to be using your brain to do it. It just switches off. You're chilling out. And that's when you can recharge. And then when you get into that next flow, you're going to do so much better. So hope that helps. And there'll be another video coming up on screen. So do have a look at that one. I shall see you over there. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.